Hello everybody, my name is Babel. Welcome to my vegan Minecraft world. Yay, potatoes. Yay. Um, I'll tell you more about the vegan thing here in a little bit. First I want to show you around my spawn area and tell you why I picked this seed. The first reason is, if you come back around here to the swamp, there is a witch hut right here. So I'm going to build a 1.9 compatible witch farm there. Um, I'm playing a 1.8.8 right now because I don't want to play with all the bugs and I don't really like the combat in 1.9 yet so I'm going to hang on to this as long as I can and I'll switch over when they finally come out with the final 1.9 version. Uh, second reason I chose this seed is there is a village right over here with a zombie spawner underneath it. I'll head in there and show you that. Uh, there was only one chest in here. When you get here, there really there's a ton of sand in here, so there weren't any zombies, and the chest is buried over here. I don't remember much being in there. Maybe some uh, horse armor. Um, I don't remember stuff like that. Not much. Uh, here's the village. I trapped the villagers so I can exploit them for their labor later. Because uh, I'm a vegan, I am not opposed to enslaving villagers, though. Uh, found some pumpkins on my way to a desert earlier, so I got that. This is my farm, this is where all my food is coming from right now. Uh, it's not planted, because this is the fifth or sixth time I've recorded this. Uh, had some issues with learning how to check the box to turn the microphone on. Uh, this is the same design I believe that XB Crafted uses in his 1.9 world, um, you know, manual planting, and then uh, drop the pistons down up there, oh, up here to flood everything. Uh, yeah, works great. Doesn't take very long to plant, uh, so I just grow the potatoes, carrots, and wheat here. You can see uh, that was my last harvest. It harvests a lot. Uh, you can plant a lot in a little space here. I might, since you get so many more carrots and potatoes than you do wheat, I might make two of them wheat and then split one, or I might expand it out that way just so I can get more wheat. I will do a nano farm later once I have a mob spawner uh, getting skeletons. Uh, this is my little house. It was a blacksmith shop. Um, Kind of have all my junk in here. I had to kill a bunch of spiders to get my wool for my bed. That wasn't any fun. I, uh, I'm pretty bad at fighting mobs, as I'm sure you'll find out. I was able to find 8 diamonds so far. No, 11 diamonds, because I've repaired my pickaxe once already. Um, yeah, I got some nether quartz. Um, that's the only thing I've really done in the nether is went through and then... Uh, just grabbed the quartz real quick, came back and grabbed, uh, built some comparators, so we'll be doing more in there later. Um, let's see, close the door so no so creepers get in. Another portal, my creeper doors. Do not like creepers. Uh, like I said before, I went to the desert mostly to get cactus so I can have dye. I'm sure you guys have seen farms like this before, it's pretty simple. Uh, they just grow up, hit that block, and self-harvest. And I have one hopper back there. And that, this one works very good. Uh, this sugarcane farm is very inefficient. Uh, a lot of people have these. Um, in the five or six times I've recorded this, it has only harvested and successfully collected one sugarcane. So I need to kill some slimes and make the newer uh, slime block one that everybody's using now uh, so I quit losing sugar cane uh, for now this will do I'm just gonna use that for trading with villagers basically whenever I get some librarians bread uh, this of course is ran by a modified etho uh, hopper timer it is modified because I haven't killed any slimes yet so I haven't made any sticky pistons. Torture. Um, so yeah, so that's a pretty simple design. Uh, doesn't take long to get resources for that. 
Uh, so our first big pro oh, zombie flesh. Our first big project we are going to do is the mob spawner. Uh, I'm going to build it up here um, inside of a pixel art creeper head, and then um, I'm not sure if I just want to do the head floating in the sky or if I want to do the whole creeper body there and. Uh, I mean, that, that's probably what I'll do. I'll have the creeper head up in the sky, do his whole body coming down here. So I'll, I'll need to tear out that whole mountain. Um, the entryway will be into his feet, and the collection area sorting system will be down there. So that's what I'll do. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. Uh, for today, I'm just going to be building the actual spawner up on top, which I'll need to go gather some resources for. I'll show you in the mine. Uh, go past my derpy mine guard over here. He uh, he got some face issues. I have to figure something out. I got that idea from uh, Zombie Cleo on her one of her last Hermit Hermitcraft episodes. She built something kind of similar, but much better, of course. Yeah. So if we head down here to my mine. We will have our sorting system here. Uh, I'll be using the Impulse SV sorting system so I don't have any overlap. Um, I'll be transporting the items from down here. I will have a chest or something here. I'll place all my uh, blocks and other items in. They'll go up there to the next floor. Get sorted and uh, be available so I don't have to one either run all the way down here every time I want to uh, come get something I don't want to have to run down to level 12 every time I want to grab blocks but I also don't want to carry an entire inventory of stuff all the way up to level 64 every time my inventory is full so I'll just do it down there I think that's on level 25 or 26 on that middle floor I did uh, clean out the swamp of all its clay because when I build that creeper, I'll need the hardened clay. Uh, I need the spawner we're going to build today for bone meal and is that a chicken out there? That's a chicken out there. Uh, yeah, so we'll need the zombie spawner for bone meal, for the lighter greens, for the creeper body, and... Uh, spiders for the wool because uh, I don't want to have to kill that many spiders it'd be better if they just fall out of the sky um, so the vegan thing I won't be killing any passive mobs um, I probably won't be keeping anything I find uh, in chests like as far as leather or eggs or any of that um, I just won't use item frames um, there's another village off in the distance uh, over there that has a library I found when I was looking for a desert so I'll go over there and chop all the uh, chop all the bookshelves up I'm sure when I find a dungeon I can get all the books out of the bookshelves there also I'm waiting for the I don't know why I'm waiting for the Sun to go down I'm gonna go in the mine I'm going to collect some more cobble and other resources and when I head up on top of that hill to start the mob spawner, I will There's come been back. a change of plans. I realize my spawner isn't going to fit in that creeper head, and I realize that there's no sense in going down into the mine to get a bunch of cobble when I was going to tear down a mountain anyway. So what I did is tore down part of the mountain and went ahead and started building the creeper up there. So we're going to go up there and see how far we can get with the little bit of clay I still have left. And then we'll end the episode and I'll go gather more clay. Okay guys, we're up here at the base of the creeper. I'm going to start placing blocks till I run out of clay. I'll probably show you a quick montage of me tearing down the top of this mountain. And when I run out of clay, I will be back.
I am out of clay. That is as far as I can get today. I will gather up some more resources, and in the next episode, we will start the actual mob spawner inside of his head. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything I can do differently, and thank you very much for watching.